The San Diego City Council has approved a plan to ban untraceable firearms known as ghost guns. Council members voted 8 to 1 to make it illegal for unregistered gun kits to be sold in San Diego, including sales made both online and in some stores. Now, it was introduced earlier this year by Council Member Marty Von Wilpert. She's joining us now to speak more about the ordinance. Good evening and thank you so much for being here. Good evening, Phil. Thank you so much for having me. First off, can you explain more detail about the ghost gun ban here in the city at this point? Yes, so, you know, I wanted to bring this ordinance forward because I am a former deputy city attorney here for the city of San Diego. So public safety, including gun violence prevention, is always top of mind for me. And as we've seen the rise in gun violence in our communities, I wanted to address the rise in ghost guns, which we're seeing people obtain illegally and then committing crimes. So we're trying to stop this problem at its source by actually requiring the parts needed to build a do it at home ghost gun to come with a serial number and be treated just like any other registered lawful firearm in the city of San Diego. Well, let me ask you, what led you personally to introduce this idea to the full council? So we saw the tragedy occur when someone who is legally prohibited from owning a gun makes a gun at home as a ghost gun and then uses it to commit murder. On April 22nd, we had a mass shooting in our gas lamp district in San Diego. A young man lost his life, a ballet driver. Four other people were shot, and it turns out the perpetrator was legally prohibited from owning a firearm because of his prior violent criminal history. Yet, he was able to exploit this loophole in our gun violence laws that allows people to order the unfinished receivers at home, make a fully functional firearm within 15 minutes that's untraceable, it has no serial number, and then commit crime. So that's why I wanted to bring forth this ordinance today to start saving lives in San Diego. So what happens if somebody gets caught with a ghost gun? So that's going to be up to our police department and our prosecutors, of course. Um, you know, I did bring this ordinance forward with law enforcement's backing. So we asked the San Diego Police Department to prepare a report for city council so we could decide what to do about this. And they brought forth a report in July explaining the 169% increase in the amount of ghost guns they have recovered, over 200 guns this year alone. And the report stated these illegal guns are being used in crimes and shootings throughout the city. So the goal is if anyone has an unregistered, un non-serialized firearm part, that they have to actually get that serialized, registered, so that we know who's getting these guns. The background checks that we rely on apply. Basically bringing these out of the shadows and into our legal gun framework to treat them just like any other firearm. Very quickly, the state already prohibits anybody really from owning a ghost gun. So was it really necessary to do this at the city level? Yes, so in fact, we worked with attorneys from the state of California, uh, the former Department of Justice attorney who was the chief of the Firearms Bureau, and he explained to us that we do need to close the low pole here in San Diego. So under California state law, anyone who wants to assemble a firearm at home is required to apply for a serial number from the Department of Justice. We have seen left and right people flouting that law. Most criminals or people who want to commit acts of terrorism, domestic violence, mentally ill folks are not going to be applying for the serial numbers required to register their ghost gun. So here in San Diego, we wanted to prevent the unregistered or unserialized firearm parts from even being sold here. And so that anyone who does want to comply with the law, you've already met that step you've already purchased a lower receiver that has the serial number as is required. And for anyone who does not want to comply with the law, we've taken that step out of the process to make sure they have to do it. And very quickly here, what happens next to this proposal? So we are going to be hearing this ordinance again at City Council on September 14th. Under our San Diego City Charter rules, we are required to hear it twice. Then the law will go into effect within 30 days. We will be working with the police department and community organizations to get the word out, to do education, working with gun manufacturers to make sure that this law is implemented, everyone is aware of it, and it assists our law enforcement in preventing people from getting the materials they're using to make illegal guns. Councilwoman Marty Von Wilpert, thank you very much for your time tonight. Thank you very much.